hey guys, how's it going today? Um, back in the workshop today, and uh, this little job just came in. Um, it's a, a chipper for chipping, I assume, like pallets, waste pallets, waste timber, waste uh, green waste, um, softer uh, general waste. Um, and what I have to do with it is replace this uh, cutting edge carrier so this is a replaceable cutting edge um, but over time the uh, structural uh, carrier uh, wears away also as you can see it's wore right down into the bolt holes there so um, I'll get the stage where this will become unbalanced unsafe and lose its uh, structural strength so uh, uh, we've got a full new set of um, blade carriers to put in so that means removing all of these welds around the back and around the bottom fiddly sort of a job but uh, fairly straightforward um, the really 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 good thing about this job is the welds are not full penetration which means I remove the weld this material will still have the original face to locate the new carrier bars. So when I remove the welds, I just simply set the new bars on and weld them up. So it will be a bit boring uh, video for some of you guys, but I don't know, it might interest someone. But yeah, I thought, what the hell, I'll share it anyway. So you can see what I do day to day here. So that's what we're looking at. So hell of a lot of gouging first I started here as you can see I use the air arc gouger to remove the welds you can see the join as I say you can see here that the welds on either side are not full penetration and that leaves me with a lovely locating face to uh, replace the block back onto so uh, yeah we'll gouge them all off grind them up and set the new bars on. Uh, a lot of gouge in this job. The Air Arc Gouger, what an incredible tool. Uh, for those of you not familiar, uh, you have two cables going to it. One is your power cable from your welder, and it requires quite a large welder. The other cable is an air hose. Uh, that comes out of this torch here, which carries these uh, carbon rods. And on the bottom here you see the holes and those holes are perfectly in line with the rod. What happens is the rod contacts the job, creates an arc, turns the metal molten and then the jets of air that come out of these holes blow the molten metal away leaving a nice, a nice uh, reverse weld I call it basically. It's like a reverse welder so instead of putting the weld in it uh, takes it away leaves a nice clean track virtually ready to weld you just get a little bit of um, fold on the edges here which will knock off the grinder so this is scrap so we'll be knocking lumps out of that and we'll be trying to preserve as much of this as we can the more we preserve the less uh, prep and welding we'll have to do put it back together so yeah it's all gouging from here um, guys and grind so I'll give you a little update when we get some of that done
One thing to be very careful of when you're working with the uh, air arc geyser is uh, whenever there's bearings involved, you want to make sure not put the earth outside the bearing. You want to put the earth on the job where you're working. If you put it on the job, it has to earth through the bearing rollers, bearing shells, get through the shaft, onto the main workpiece. And uh, the air, air arc geyser sporting up to a thousand amps or more. And really make a mess of those bearings, so that's something you want to be careful. So that's all the bars removed. Just have to grind them all up now. Uh, just uh, polish up the edges, just for any dirt. No gouging. See the way the gouger removes the weld. We have that nice flat locating space, set the new bars back into simply re-weld. Nice straightforward job. Straightforward, labour intensive. That's the uh, steel slag that guides your leaves. You want to be putting down a bit of metal to protect the concrete floor if there's too much, but yeah, there's the spent rods. Carbon with a copper skin copper skin to conduct the electricity so yeah that's it ready just to grind up where the weld is removed and we'll set them on and tack them up bars uh, fresh off a CNC milling machine things of beauty how is hell you can see the holes um, compared to the ones that were taken off there's a lot more meat on these let's look at the old ones and skip here so these should give it an effective second life Yeah, let's go. So that's it all welded guys, um, three run pass, um, one mil solid wire, um, ready to go back to the customer. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, if you did give me a thumbs up, much appreciated. If you guys keep giving me a thumbs up, hit the like button, I do my best to keep making videos. Um, thumbs up, make it all worthwhile, worth the effort of uh, cutting these videos together. Just takes a bit of time on top of the actual work hours. So yeah, very much appreciate um, If you want to see more videos, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, I have a lot of variety on my channel. Uh, I never know what the next video is going to be. It could be 
off-roads, quads, pickup trucks, tractors, farming, engineering, who knows, absolutely anything, so yeah, try to keep a bit of variety going, so if you want to see what's next, hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it guys, thanks for tuning in, until the next time, stay safe, over now.